Hey, welcome to NG Outdoor Gear channel. I'm doing a review today on the South from Spyderco South 2 in H1 steel, which is completely rust proof. This knife you can take any, you know, like a water, anything like that, like a salt water. You can use it at different chemicals, it will not rust on you. Has no steel liners, as you can see, just got a FRN handles, which is basically a little decent plastic. It's made by Spyderco in Seki City, Japan. This is the salt glaser, that's the owner of Spyderco and um, co-founder of Spyderco actually Sal Glaster that's his signature right there they started using that I think 2020 on the new blades now on all the blades they even the Japanese one Chinese one they start using that on all these blades I'm not actually wrong on that the clip and all these you know screws the clip is actually rust proof as well as the lock so you will not have to worry about no rust on this knife whatsoever I actually test this knife in water and had it for about a month in an aquarium uh, nothing happened to it so spider could have it over a year in aquarium in their store at you know the golden uh, factory up there when I went there about three years ago so yes this is the good good knife around the water and stuff like that it's perfect MSRP is gonna be 137.50 that's how much the website says for spider Co. And on Blade HQ, you can find it for $92, which is actually decent because it's basically a Delica. Delica 4, you know, turned into a rust proof knife. This design is very good because it fits in your hand perfectly. It's got a good choke up. The blade holds edge about a week of hard use. So you probably sharpen every like week or so if you use it for work, as I do. And, you know, the blade to handle ratio, actually, they should have. It's kind of stiff to close. Let me show you. The centering on this one is perfect, but they could have, you know, used this little space right here for something else, maybe do a longer blade or something. This is the blade is three inches, so you can uh, most jurisdictions uh, will allow you to carry this one perfectly fine, including the state of Florida, because I'm not in I'm not living in Florida, but I go there for long, for a lot for vacations. So, you know, when I carry this one, I know I'm gonna be legal, you know, to carry it especially at the beaches and stuff like that. This one originally was a yellow handles, but I took a red dye from Walmart that is like four bucks for the bottle, and I actually turned this into black. You know, color, because I got the red dye, is this right here. You know, you put in a, basically water, and you start boiling it, and then you dip the knife in. You can get this from Walmart for like a four bucks. This is an orange color, it's coming from my next project. This is a good blade for the price, but it could have been a little cheap, like 60 maybe bucks, you know, 60 years, 70 years bucks would be perfect for this knife. As you know, it's basically a plastic handle and H1 steel blade, so... Otherwise, this knife is perfect for somebody that lives close to water or uses it around water, that way you don't have to worry about the rest. I take this one to the beach with me all the time, or to the lake when I go fishing or swimming, I, I swim with this one actually. I'm having this one in my trunk or in my, you know, kayak or boat that I used to have. I had this one there before um, multiple times and it was perfect. You've never seen a rust on this one. There's no way you can get this one to rust. The H1 still is just tremendously perfect to rust resistance but the uh, edge retention is just the terrible on this one. It's, it, you can get it very sharp but it dulls very easily. So this is the back lock mechanism. You know you press here, you close the blade up you can open it by one hand, Spyderco famous hole. Spyderco is a decent company. They just went with the prices crazy. You know, for the past three years, they're just going crazy, you know, putting prices on knives that uh, are outdated, basically. But I love Spyderco, and I like Benchmade, some models from Benchmade, and I like two models from Zero Tolerance, which is the 0302, the ZT 302 and 350 Tiger Stripe, you know, the Gibbs knife. It's the 302 or 303 used to be the Gibbs knife from NCIS, so I like that one. And I like the 350TS as a smaller version of it. So I like those from Kersha, make actually decent product as well. I'm um, not a, you know, I'm, I used to be a Spyderco guy, like I was a big Spyderco fan. But now what they start doing for the past two years, I just don't want to buy nothing from them no more. I just bought the Colorado Flag PM2, you know, and I did a review recently. And I just keep that one because I think it's cool. But everything else that came out with this year and last year is just a garbage. And that's just sad because it's such a great company. It's going so down, downward. It's just not right. You know, but if you definitely need something around the water that will not rust on you or you just 
high you don't want to be a high maintenance type of guy on knives like oiling it like every day and stuff this one is going to be perfect because you don't have to take care of it at all you can just throw it in your tackle box after fishing you don't have to worry about if it's going to rust or not they even have the smaller version of dragonfly you know dragonfly 2 which is way smaller and it's like i think 65 bucks on amazon i seen it and that's a decent one for if you have like a small tackle box for fishing like you're not a knife guy you can get that one as well i'm probably gonna order it in a few weeks because uh, sometimes when i go to certain places they they have a, like two and two in two and a half inches blade that's gonna be perfect for that so i'm gonna get ordered a little dragonfly salad as well and thanks guys for watching and definitely subscribe to my channel because you're gonna get more reviews and more you know actually field tests because this is gonna be for field tests i'm gonna field test this one for you guys and show you how it can withstand uh, abuse and hard use in uh, around water and also in the inside of it, like a lake or a river i'm gonna choose the location where i'm gonna test this but it's gonna definitely gonna be in somewhere in wilderness it's not gonna be you know behind my house with a water hose because I don't do that. I like to abuse and use my stuff, all my gear. So thank you for you know watching my channel, and hopefully you guys subscribe. You have a nice day.